Let's uh, pivot Pleasure. back to the panel. Paul McCulley, I, I know you're a big fan of uh, Jay Powell and the Fed's new framework uh, overall. What did you make, though, of his comments, uh, his relaxed comments, uh, about uh, frothy levels of stock market, financial assets and, and housing prices? Should he be more concerned than he is on, on those, those subtopics? I think his mere use of the word frothy was his intent because he acknowledged the obvious while saying that the overall architecture they have for financial stability is not flashing a yellow warning sign, but the actual use of froth is going to be discussed a great deal in the marketplace. So it's not saying that he's going to do anything about it, but he's acknowledging the obvious. And I think that's the tenor of the overall press conference, which I thought was exquisite, particularly <laughs> with the first and last question, basically saying, I told you I would tell you when I was going to start thinking about thinking about tapering, and it ain't now, and we've got a long way to run, but I will tell you when I do, and it ain't now. So I thought he just did a beautiful job. That, that message certainly came across loud and clear. Sarah, the one question that I, that I wish was asked that I think was sort of looming in the background was, does the Fed risk looking out of step with the reality on the ground? The more we, we get, you know, record numbers of, of ISM on services or manufacturing. The housing market is on fire. We're now looking at GDP growth from 5 to 10 percent and a million job reports, a million people being hired per month. A at some point, if the Fed is still in emergency mode of $120 billion worth of asset purchases and rock bottom rates, does it risk being out of sync? That's exactly right. And they don't want to be out of sync. I mean, that would be something they don't want to get near at all, because that, of course, undermines their credibility. So he has to, and the entire FOMC, they have to stay very close to the data. They have to watch it really extremely scrupulously uh, to make sure that they, in essence, are able to uh, maintain this stance. And it is, as you say, a highly accommodative stance in the light of, in, of, of data that is coming in really better than uh, many of them expected. So um, that's why really you heard this whole rhetoric regarding, you know, uh, yes, there has been a uh, rebound, but the recovery is not complete yet. And you, you hear him talking about substantial further progress with, you know, leaning heavily into that word further, further. We need to see more. You see him again talking about this idea that he, he's not going to rely on projections. He wants real data before he moves. So they're really holding back, uh, wanting to do that quite deliberately. Um, but you are right. They're going to have to continue to watch data as they are and, and make sure that this message is staying credible. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.